The Day Billy Fell Off the Cliff by Byron Broussard The Day Billy Fell Off the Cliff, Part 26 There they stood together in my absence. Taylor flickered around the perimeter of the circle like an electron. This isn't right. I should be exploring myself, but here I am trying to continue the flow. I should totally look outward, but I'm obviously scared of losing this internal flame. Much like Plato's clave. Much like Plato's cave, but the fire is alive, and I may be the shadow itself, or the cave. I'm the fire, with access to the cave. Billy looked at Lisa with burning red eyes, understanding flowing through his flaming body. He looked to Rick. Me flew to Rick and picked him out of the coals, then brought him to Lisa before bringing them both to Billy. Jessica stood by Billy's side with her flaming arm out, palm down. The flaming people and flaming beasts around them are all pinned to the ground. Look, guys, this is silly, Billy said. I know you are raging and nonplussed equally and respectively. I stepped out of the Lone Star, making sure not to be too flashy. I know this will work, and so here goes nothing. This is a marriage, arranged and shotgun and everything. Lisa, you get to wed the Rick here. Lee became a little taller as they merged with Rick's misintuition. You are effectively together now. Hooray, Lee said in their toneless voice. It felt like they were the only motion in the flaming land, save for the flames dancing over every surface. Billy reached his hand out to Jessica. They reached their hands out to me, who ran to them and embraced them. I think I could look at the cave. I think I can look at the cave. If I think about it in terms of location, I keep seeing the cave of Plato. I would call the look of the area likened to a vagina, or a womb, rather. To know the mother of the astral, how many books, flaming or non, would I have to go through to learn how well one can know their own mother, let alone the mother let alone a mother of the astral. Plus, if I am the astral and Billy strode the path of my existence whilst being me as well, then this sounds like a paradox. The world that I have learned from me's experience in it, my other. Scruff scrunched his nose over his little bouncing shoulder at Billy. The cord, leaf hits, the cord leash hit Scruff in the face as Billy's foot hit the ground, sending shocks of pain through his left knee. He crumbled to the ground. Scruff barked. Billy passed out. 